Hello once again, audience. How are you? I can't hear you. Um, I was watching poker, man. I've been watching poker. Uh, I watched, you know, because I was watching Norm McDonald videos, as I do every single day for the last, like, three freaking years. Because I'm just trying to just figure out how to just kind of emulate uh, something uh, in his exact style without anybody uh, getting onto it. But, uh, you know, you know, maybe you steal some of his jokes. You guys don't watch his clips as much as I do. But, uh, dude, like, during the whole pandemic, the beginning of the pandemic, like, like he started out. He did the first, like, comedy. Yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> you like it? Thank you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Um, he did this awesome bit. He was talking about the whole the whole pandemic, and he was driving over on, on the way. And uh, you just, you've probably seen it. But it was just... He was talking about, he was like, yeah, I just heard on the heard on the radio. And the, the guy was like, oh, there's 20 cases, 50, 100. <laughs> oh. and, and then he was like, I feel sick. I don't feel so good. All right, whatever. I'm butchering. His, you can't. You can't butcher his comedy. You got to do it exactly perfectly uh, or he'll be really upset. And he's definitely, he's definitely watching from up there in the clouds. What if, what if, what if, what if he's still watching? When you die, can you imagine that that would be a thing that you do? Watch. I don't think you would really. Would you? Like, imagine watching the life from the afterlife would be like watching the media. Don't you think? Wouldn't you rather just float around the universe and look at all the freaking suns exploding constantly? Nah, you probably still like humans. But I feel like you would kind of want to, you know, fly around as like a, a photon. I don't know what a soul is, okay? It's something. It's important enough uh, for uh, for Norm to, uh, you know, he would say, uh, whatever. Anyways, he would say like, hey, there's all kinds of different religions. I'm so sorry. Literally, I butcher one of his jokes and I'll just do it again. He's like, there's all kinds of, kinds of different ways to, you know, I, I, I don't want to talk bad about all the other fake religions. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of ways you can get into heaven. As long as it's through Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, I, I'm, I'm really happy there's going to be more comedy, I'm sure, in the future, unless they shut it all down forever. Um, but uh, what's his name? The, Andrew Schultz. Holy balls. That guy's freaking hilarious. Uh, so, you know, I'm feeling pretty positive about the things. Been hanging around with the, uh, the locals around here, and, you know, it's a different small town kind of feel. And uh, every, you know, every couple weeks... You know, like one of the places that I, I would kind of stop by and be like, hey, how's it going? You know, the owner would have died. Just saying, there's plenty of opportunity up and coming you know, when you're uh, in a town where the average age is 95. I'm just kidding. That's just the average age of the politicians here. But, um, kind of. Anyways, so uh, here's some mountains. There's some hills. And yeah, I stopped posting vlogs for a little bit because I, uh, it was really friggin' hot. It was too hot for this mobile air conditioning unit that I, you know, drive around in to get some scenery. Um, it was just too hot. I was just, you know, I started recording a vlog. I'm like, ah, it's too hot. I just want to, you know, and I'm still complaining about it because it is still kind of hot, but it rained yesterday. That was kind of neat. It was kind of like, you know, a reminder that there's a whole system, you know, whenever there's a major drought. Water can fall out of the sky. I mean, you're not allowed to bottle it or, you know, capture it in buckets in a lot of states. So you'll still die of thirst. But it is nice that, uh, you know, they had this, this system where the water goes up into the sky and falls down and tastes good. Do, do nano, do those microscopic uh, plastic par particles, do those evaporate up in the clouds? That would suck. Because, like, you know, it's like, it seems like the freshest glass of water you could get falls out of the sky or into your mouth into that kind of weird stuff. Hey, speaking of 90 years old, speaking of 90 years old politicians, this guy's 90, maybe 91, running for mayor. Hey, maybe he's got a lot of wisdom. It's just a matter of can he still access it? You know, nothing wrong with that. Hey, maybe, you know, maybe we're figuring out how to make people live longer. There's this whole, the whole South Park episode they're talking about the uh, post-COVID world. And, uh, and in the episode, like basically, China like, seems to take over all the fast food. It uh, takes over a lot of the, a uh, lot of America, and uh, and then you see the old folks' home where nobody dies, 
because the people that are really powerful, they want you to live forever. They really, they love that poor people and middle class people, the peasants, they love when they live super long. That's definitely a fact. And I like that South Park, you know, points that fact out. Or it's comedy. Maybe it's just a little joke about how they really, uh, maybe, don't, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't want you to live. Anyways, we'll find out <clears throat> together. Um, all right. What else? I got nothing else to say except for uh, I've been writing some music. So, you know, a DJ friend of mine. Let's call him DJ. I have a lot of friends named DJ, but... It's not, it's not one of them. It's actually a DJ friend. But uh, he wants me to make music. That feels nice. And I want a guy who makes music like wants you to make music. And I'm like, yeah, my music's all just, you know, stupid, uh, silly stuff. You know, love, love song about sideburns. Um, Spotify took all my music off. I don't know if you saw that. Um, or you, or if you like, because uh, I, I was looking up Nugget and a Biscuit on Spotify, as I do once a day. And then I saw that uh, the only nugget in a biscuit that existed was an 8-bit remix. And it sounded good, you know? Maybe even better. But uh, there's no lyrics in it, and I just really like the <clears throat> you know? And I like that it promotes uh, eating uh, unhealthy food, you know? Nugget, biscuit, come on. Anyways, so I'm not sure why my music's down. They, uh, I, I sent uh, a couple of you people have, a couple of you people, you people. Were you people now? That's like way worse. Way less intimate than audience. How's it going, you people? All right. No, but, uh, hey, you messaged me about, I'm like, literally, I've listened to Norm talk too much. I'm, I'm going to stop trying to sound like him. I think I'm sounding like I'm on accident. Eh. <laughs> what was I even saying? Right. So Spotify didn't do this, I don't think, but something to do with, they had a comedy category where you could upload comedy music and I got this email from the company that I used to upload to Spotify because you can't upload directly unless you can if you know how to do it you can't upload directly to Spotify so you have to go through like a, a third party middle management which is great I just love I love that because it makes it a lot more reliable but um, <clears throat> I'm not but so uh, yeah so I was uploading to this this company and they I was like what's going on all my music's gone all of it and like oh I could this could be wrong I think this is what they said they said Spotify wants their comedy section to not have spoken word or poetry or audiobooks. I was like, oh, yeah, Nugget and a Biscuit. I mean, thank you for thinking it was like poetry or something. I mean, it's definitely not an audiobook. Spoken word? Not even spoken. Okay. So then they just to be safe got rid of all my music. And I'm still paying for it. I'm still paying for it to go up. So that's cool. But there is something that you can do. I think you can sign up for like some kind of special uh, license, like one of those, like legit, uh, what, BMI ass cap, one of those, those music things that musical people use. Um, so I guess I gotta, I gotta look into that. I don't know. Times change, and then, you know, it's nice because every once in a while you just sift out this stuff so that the old people that don't know how to use the new, uh, the new things, their music kind of fades into the, you know fades into the history um yeah so i have to learn how to upload through that stuff instead and i i clicked a button on the on the on the, the website that i use tunecore and I've, I've, I've been living that forever but um <clears throat> i clicked a button it's just you know in this post covid age they uh they don't have enough people to be directly handling things i guess because the whole it's post covid and uh, yeah, so they said, well, what you, what you have to do is you go into each song one at a time and then click a button, put, uh, I think I had to add my name as the person who wrote the song. And, uh, and then you have to click another box that says something like, uh, I, yes, my music, I want my music on the thing because I'm paying for it. So yeah, of course I want it. You have to check a box. And inside that box, there's another box that says, I have one of three things that I don't understand. Um, a bunch of acronyms involved. And I just panic whenever I see acronyms. Uh, you know. But, um, because then you got to look up what it means. And then you got to look up what, you know, what it, that means. Um, anyways. So, uh, I did. I did for, I did it for Nugget and Biscuit. And I checked one of the boxes without really thinking about it. And I clicked save. It took like 10 minutes for the processing wheel of one song to process. 
So, and now we're doing that again. But, uh, eh, <laughs> there's no way to do all 150 songs. 140, something like that. That's like 140 times however long it takes for my internet in a city where the people's average age is 95. So it's not the fastest internet. Plus, after you load the page, you have to click the boxes with the acronym. So I gotta learn what those mean. And then you have to click the thing that makes it go process for 10 more minutes. That's like 140 times 10 times, you know, plus more. I don't know. That's like, that's like a year? What is that, a year? Constant? 1,400 minutes. How many minutes in a year? Hey, we're at 10 minutes. I just wanted to come by and say hey again. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to get settled in pretty soon. You know, everything feels pretty good. It's nice. I like that there's still people out there making content. You know, it's nice. Lots of people. Just good people. Good neighborhood people. Hopefully they're, uh, you know, treating you well. You know, hopefully they're uh, setting good examples for you. And uh, if not, ah, what is good anyway? It's all relative. Bless your face. If you sneeze during this video, it's all right. There's nothing I can do about it. Maybe next time. Peace out. I was just kidding. Bless you if you did. I was playing. You thought I was going to be out. Throw of darkness and redness. Boo!